Hey gamers, do you want to learn how to record Battlefield 6 smoothly in OBS with a low-end graphics card like RTX 2060 that I've got? In this video, as you can see on screen that it's a really smooth gameplay. Maybe for you, the gameplay is really laggy and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So first, we are on OBS here. I'm going to click on File and then go to Settings. On it, on the left-hand side, click on Output. And then on the right, click on recording. Make sure that the output mode is advanced. And here the type is standard. Now the recording settings, I've set the recording path here. I'm also recording it in .mp4. I know that most people say that you need to record in MKV file format so that if something happens during your recording, it's not going to corrupt all your recording. It's going to keep till that part. I know that, but with this mp4 i think it gives you low latency so i prefer to keep it that way because i need to record like two or three minutes of gameplays there's video encoder i've set it to nvenc i've set it to nvidia nvenc h.264 if you've got an nvidia card make sure to set it like this otherwise you need to make do with the software encoder audio encoder keep it ffmpeg aac Scroll down, we have got rescale output, keep it disabled. Scroll more down, you've got encoder settings. Rate control, make it constant QP. I like to use this. There's constant QP here. I like to keep it at 18. You can set it to 16 or 15. I think it's recommended to keep it between 15 or 18. This, if you set it low, a low number, is going to get a much higher quality, but then it's going to increase the file size as well. If you find that it's lagging in game still, or some artifacts are showing up, you can increase this number. Now on the bottom, you've got preset. You can change it from fastest to slowest. I like to keep it at fastest. It gives me the best quality. It says lowest quality here, but to be honest with you, it gives me the best quality, like you can see in gameplay. If you want, you can also set it to B5 as well, which is slow, but gives you good quality according to them. There's tuning. I like to keep it at ultra low latency. There's multi-pass mode, single pass, profile high. I like to also disable look ahead and adaptive quantization. This was previously called psycho visual tuning. All right, once you've done, just click on apply. Now I'm going to load in game and show you my Battlefield 6 settings as well. Now in game, you need to press an escape on your keyboard, then go to Hog icon on the top then on the left hand side click on graphics and on the right you need to set this performance preset to custom just click on these two arrows to switch to custom then the graphics quality switch to custom as well then on this graphics click here to modify and make sure that the graphics quality is custom here all the other settings here should be low and on the bottom here the screen space AONGI you need to make it off this creates performance issues, so I recommend keeping it off. If you turn on this setting, as you can see on the right, it says that the GPU consumption is high for it. Now go back and there is advanced here, click on it. Fixed resolution scale, make sure that this is 75. Scroll down, you've got this frame rate limiter, turn it on. Make sure to reduce the frame rate limit to 50. I think for low end graphics card, you would not be able to go above 50 or 40 anyway. And if you want to see your FPS, you can click here on the bottom, performance overlay, from off to simple. And you can see on the top right, you've got this FPS counter, ignore, sim, GPU, and MP per second. The CPU is the only thing that you should look at. You're going to find this is not going above 50 because I've limited it to 50. If I turn it more down, like I decrease it, you can see that on the top right, this CPU is not going to go above 45. So yeah, I think the best is 45 or 50. Just set it to that. And on the bottom, you've got NVIDIA reflects low latency. Make sure to turn it on, enabled plus boost. On the bottom again, you've got upscaling technique. Switch it to DLSS. If you've got AMD, then switch to FSR. There's upscaling quality. Make sure to keep it balanced. Now let's go to graphics again. Scroll down. Make sure to turn off the weapon motion blur and the world motion blur. Just drag it to the left to make it zero. Field of view 85. Scroll down. 
You're going to find display here. I like to keep it borderless. I think it improves performance like this. There's full screen resolution. I like to keep it at 1920 by 1080. This also improves the performance. Vertical sync on. And yeah, that was for the in-game settings. And I've also shown you my OBS settings to record smooth gameplay like you can see on screen. And yeah, that's it. I hope this video helped solve a problem. If it did, let me know with a like and comment. And on the right hand side, you can find more Battlefield 6 related guides and fixes. See you there and bye for now.